should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well... I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Yes. Thanks. So... You feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Here, try this on. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. Sure, he's gonna show up. He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? He's a little rascal. He never stops. Just like you did, you know? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here.
Sean! What happened? What were you thinking, Jake? I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things. I, I took a blanket from your tent and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, shocked and mute, and all by himself. I couldn't just leave him there. What about the others? Hannah, Penny, what happened to them? They, they ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. Finn's murder. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. I should have protected him better. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Uh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I... I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel, okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. 
Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Elizabeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. So, did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Karen. Everything all right? Yeah, don't worry about me. I found the best hiding spot. The view is kind of great. Cool. Be careful, though. You never know. Thanks, Sean. I will. Okay. There it is. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. Luckily for us, we never close our door. Closed door is a closed heart, she says. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Oh, of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. <sighs> Whoa. The evenings in here must be so much fun. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no. It, it's just so full of memories and stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Lizbeth sure likes to be on pictures. Confide and convince? Fifteen steps to a good speech. <sighs> yeah, nice read for a saleswoman. Damn, this is so artless. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. And I thought Claire and Steven were old fashioned. Might be enough to open that door. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. <sighs> Nothing here. Does she even believe in any of this? Mm. <sighs> Nothing interesting. Nice prison view, dude. <sighs> I swear, 
Even her bet looks stern. <sighs> yeah, that will definitely explain what's going on with Daniel. Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Okay, I found a key. Good. Let's try it. <sighs> yeah, that will definitely explain what's going on with Daniel. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. What a great fucking family portrait. She sure likes to gaze at her own success. Don't see anything of interest. Whoa, they kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Did she teach Daniel how to play this? Is this Daniel's room? Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Lisbeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. I'm not surprised he kept that ugly thing. <laughs> he was so glad when he found it. <sighs> this is still better than that ugly white shirt she's making him wear. At least he had a memory from home. Is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? He looks happy. Fuck. I can't believe I missed it. Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, shit. People are really all over his power. So much for secrecy. <laughs> They're so cute. What is this? Daniel Fisher? Oh no. No, that's total bullshit. And creepy. The 
The Book of Daniel. So much for a hot dog, man. Whoa, Daniel so has this. Penny misses Finn. What a waste. Whoa, Daniel has this. Penny misses Finn. What a waste. This is quite the change from Power Bear and friends. <sighs> Locked, of course. Shit. Maybe it opens the other door. Must be a way to break it. Yes! That's the one. Oh, perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you, too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you, like, sick? Conversion therapy? Did they... Wanted to cure you from being... Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <sighs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. Didn't you... tell your parents? <laughs> you kidding? They wanted her to do that. Mom and Dad thought I had a demon inside. So did I. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean... You met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Lisbeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd... I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. You didn't know this would happen, Jake. His powers tripped me out, too. Don't worry. We'll get him out. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. 
I hope they'll help her. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, Trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. No. Uh, it might be too dangerous. Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. But be extra careful, please. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Hurry up. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. Finds us here, we're screwed. Better tell Elizabeth about this. All right, let's see. Crazy. The fuck? What is it? I think that's the file Nicholas had. Take a look. What? Is she trying to adopt Daniel? Exactly. And she's doing it under the table, of course. Man. Okay, we shouldn't be here. Are you ready? Is she actually scared of me? Better get Daniel out of here before she gets too much attention. She's running a typed ship here. <sighs> Gotta give her credit for that. Mm, I don't think there's anything worth a look in here. Fuck. She's done some serious research, and still acts all naive. Seriously, how can she ignore that? Do you read anything else?
So we're all good now? All clear. I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. your letter for Jacob. Too bad Lisbeth found it first. She took it from the mail? Damn that woman. So you know what you're gonna do? No. But let's do it. Oh Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble Sean. servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kinda special. Hey. Sean! You came back? And I know. Little cub, come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary, right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you, how could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where- Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband, to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. 
I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh! Holy shit. Reverend! Are you okay? Nicholas! They're, they're heretics! Sent to desecrate our, our church! Okay. What now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee? She's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wouldn't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. A minister from another church even sent her a letter, warning her that she's taking too much risk, that Sarah needs to see doctors. But I don't want Sarah Lee to be hurt. Have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me and to you. She's doing paperwork to adopt you and change your last name, and I know. Dad's name. Are you okay with that? What? I... No. I didn't know. Is that why that card said Daniel Fisher? Of course not. He's making everything up. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. What do you think Dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay, but... You're not ready, Sean. See what you have done? Hey, Inano. Back off. No one is gonna keep me away from you. I said stop! <sighs> came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need- Ugh. Sean! He must learn. Listen, I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I took you for granted. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry. Sean. Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. <clears throat> Don't let them do that, Daniel. <sighs> if I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. He always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! So we have to keep going no. forward. No! 
What are you doing? Kill him! Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Nothing, nothing is going to stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know uh, Please! Uh, stop! Uh, Leave uh, him alone! Daniel, uh, listen to him. I won't stop, no matter what she does. I'll come right back, again, and again. <laughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. Shut him up, now! Don't move, just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face and live with me. Now! Stop! <gasps> Daniel! Sean! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was so confused. I thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. Oh no. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. Move. Let us go. Move it. You won't leave this place. Not with me alive. I said move. Or I will hurt you. Sean, foolish child. You can't threaten me with death. I embrace it. I know what awaits me. Open the door, Inan. Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore! Ugh.
And this is it. We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. You ready? Yeah. I think. Someday you'll understand.